Welcome back. Each year, the Cattle Industry Convention features an outstanding lineup of speakers who inform and inspire all of us. This year was no exception as our keynote speaker was a real hero and the subject of a major motion picture. Cattleman to Cattleman reporter Russell Nemitz caught up with Captain Phillips backstage at the Opryland Hotel. Well, one of this year's featured speakers here at the Cattle Industry Convention and NCBA trade show was Captain Richard Phillips. Of course, his personal and life story was recently turned into a blockbuster Hollywood movie, and we're lucky enough to have Captain Phillips on the program with us today. Uh, first of all, Captain Phillips, uh, thanks for being part of the 2014 Cattle Industry Convention. Well, thank you for inviting me. It's great to be here. you got a big group. Yes, we do. Thousands and thousands of cattlemen and cattlewomen from across the country have joined us here in Music City, so to speak. Now, talk about the experience uh, of what it was like to have your personal life story turned into a Hollywood movie. Well, of course it is surreal. There's many uh, stories uh, that, that could come out, and that one's uh, the one with the pirates did. Uh, and it's, it's strange just to see, see yourself in a movie, but it's understandable with uh, everything that, that went on. What was that actual experience like that day those Somali pirates uh, invaded your vessel? Well, uh, it was pretty much a sinking feeling originally, and then truly uh, 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 near despair once they boarded the ship and, and got to the bridge. Uh, but uh, uh, the crew did a great job uh, and were instrumental in a positive outcome, and working together we were able to overcome the problem. Captain Phillips, did Hollywood do a good job of uh, portraying your personal life story on the big screen? Uh, I, I think they did a good job. Paul Greengrass really boiled it down to a man in peril on the sea, and I think he did a good job. And of, of, of course, uh, to have uh, Tom play play you, uh, uh, you know, he's a pr pretty good actor. The, uh, the only advice I gave him when he came and talked to me was he's going to have to put on a little more weight and get a little better looking. <laughs> <laughs> what was your message uh, to these cattlemen and cattlewomen here in Nashville at the Cattle Industry Convention? Well, basically, it's, it's just the, uh, my story of the the five days in April of 2000 and also put in dispersing their uh, lessons learned and things that, that I came out with you know I think we we, uh, we are all stronger than we even realize we can take more we can do more we worry about things in our life prof professionally and personally and we're, we're able to do the things and if we choose not to quit it's, it's only over when we choose to quit uh, and we unite with our uh, uh, teammates or crewmates or whoever you're working with uh, and form a focused dedicated professional team I think we can overcome most problems and that's pr pretty much the uh, uh, the, the basis of the speech, and then and I tell the story and things that went on, uh, you know, during the story that you don't see in the in the movie. Now I understand you also have a book that has just been released. Talk about that. Well, the book came out in 2010, uh, and uh, I did that after the incident. Uh, I spent about 14 months uh, at home, first time I've ever spent a year at home straight anywhere, uh, and, and wrote the book. And, and the book came out and, and did fairly well, and that's what the movie is based on. Uh, and again, I think they did a good job. Captain Phillips, I would probably lose my job if I didn't ask this next question. Since we are doing this interview at a cattle industry convention, what is your favorite steak when you go out or cook at home? Well, actually, they're, they're, all of the steaks are my favorite. I love uh, anything from a hamburger to a uh, fillet. Uh, and uh, cooked right, uh, it, it's a darn good meal. Hey, thanks for taking a little bit of time for us here at the cattle industry convention. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. All right, Kevin, there you go. Not only can Captain Richard Phillips navigate the ocean's waters, but he can also navigate his way with a piece of U.S. steak on that dinner plate. Reporting from the Cattle Industry Convention and NCBA trade show here in Nashville, and for Cattlemen to Cattlemen, I'm Russell Nimitz. We'll go ahead and send it back to you in the studio.